warm greetings from the greenery of Badanil Gantha. I am 5153 Athalpa, currently an A-level student at Badanil Gantha School and a massive space enthusiast. I've always had this feeling that I have to do something in this field, whether it be research or business. You see, the space industry is booming right now. Everybody's got their eyes on the infinity and beyond. Revolutionaries like Elon Musk with his SpaceX, Richard Branson with his Virgin Galactic, and Jeff Bezos with his Blue Origins have already set upon this lofty task and have become successful too. It just feels like yesterday that New Origins' Blue Shepherd took common people, not highly trained astronauts, to the space. Well, the common line to be exact and the flight did just last 10 minutes. But these mere 10 minutes signal an eternity for space tourism and all the other businesses that are going to boom along with it. Just like the legendary Neil Armstrong once said, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Now folks, before talking about the present or the future of space tourism, let me guide you through the past of it. It is common knowledge that massive economies like the USA and the USSR have competed in the space race ever since the end of World War II. But this was more of a political issue, a matter of national pride. It was only in the late 1990s that the space industry widened its spectrum. The first person not associated with the government to travel to the space was Dennis Tito, who paid 20 million US dollars to tag along with the astronauts. Ooh. Thankfully, the rise of private corporations like SpaceX and Blue Origins have opened doors of hopes for folks like us who don't have 20 million US dollars. You see, the primary purpose of these companies is to make space travel affordable. But to some, it seems like utter nonsense, and to many, it seems like a far-fetched dystopian stuff. Space enthusiasts, don't listen to those people. The very same kinds of people existed in the time of Henry Ford while he attempted to make automobiles affordable. Look at the world now. Unimaginable without cars. According to the insurance records, 1.446 billion cars are on this earth right now. And that's just a century after Henry Ford's revolution. Space industry is already massive. SpaceX alone gives employment to 13,000 people as of September 2023. And the entire space industry is currently valued at 423.8 billion US dollars, according to the statistics.com. The same source predicts a 50% growth in the revenue by 2040. So yeah, a lot of green bills. But beware future Elon Musk's and Jeff Bezos's. Space entrepreneurship is not without its, is not without its challenges. Not only does it require immense financial investment, it also needs massive intellect. After all, it is rocket science. Some other challenges include unpredictable space weather, international and national regulations, and the most significant of all, competition. But history has shown us that where there are challenges, there are opportunities to overcome these challenges if you have the right determination and vision. Now, before I depart, I'm going to say just one thing to the space folks. <laughs>